of secure, mm -hmm. you know, in, in her way because I think the righteous woman get maligned with the, you know, with the unrighteous woman because there might be sometimes undue silence, just like the same way that righteous men get maligned with the unrighteous man if they see the unrighteous man action and they don't check that or they don't mm -hmm. say, yo, that's, you know what I mean? At least testify against to show that, because he says silence implies consent. Yeah. You know, if I say, you are, oh, you are fool and you just be quiet. Well, mm -hmm. everybody who's with me will say, well, I guess, I guess he's right. You know what I mean? But if you say, no, you know, you, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, you respond to that, that, oh, no, he said that, but not, nah, it, it can't be, you know, so and so said such and such. So it becomes now, it, it's not left to a one wrong voice speaking and giving, you know what I mean? But anyway, it's, uh, it's not the representation of folly or is the ones have to separate, like, you know, and, um, like, when when Lachey L L said, you know, who's with me and the Levites separated, you know, and then after that, everything else was a wrap, you know? And actually, mm -hmm. speaking of that, Brother Alonso uh, did want to say a word on that, and it, 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 pertaining to Ham and the Queen of Sheba, I believe. Uh, Brother Alonso, are you on the line at all? Are you available? To Ham? Well, I think it's related to the Queen of Sheba. Yes, I you're on, Brother Alonso. All right, Brother. shalom. Hi, Shalom Wyndham. The Shalom. Anthony Wyndham. You know, just um, from what the whole Queen situation, I mean, this is a very, like, a, I guess, like, a very simple way to look at it, but I think the way to complete and justify how Zaudita was reigning, being a Queen, even though, um, you know, Makeda had said as she said, is basically because he has... She basically was, she was um, sustained in that the image and likeness of the word was was um, was being that that comforter to her position. So mm. her, her reign is not necessarily like just like a, of a queen. Mm. What I'm trying to get to is um, the book of let's see Genesis chapter one. Let's see, I think it's verse 26, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, no, no. I'm looking for that one. Yes, one, one moment. I um yes, I just would like to say I I'm gonna call him again and just to make sure my mic will not be um muted or when I'm yet and um I would like to speak on um the reasoning with the the co -cap, the brethren on that reasoning. Um and um yeah, so uh, go forward. Uh when All right, I'll, I, and I called in yes. to open time on this issue. Issue. Yes, I missed that Well, oh, you know, okay. just just uh, real. Excuse that. Just real briefly, what I'm trying to say is that basically, it's like we can't we can't divide the power of the Trinity. So it's basically saying, um, is verse 27. So God created man in His own image, in the image of God created He Him. So that's a that's a mere image of itself. That's a true and faithful witness. That's like saying devari words. One word confirms the other. It's a mere image. It's a perfection. It is what it is. And then it goes on to say male and female created he them. And so just like the composition of an individual male has to be female and male. It has to be a, there has to be a, a, a health in that soul that is, is, well, I mean, there's so many ways to, to go about it, but there's got to be a balance within an individual self. And so as I would need to, She's really being sustained by the fact that the word is made manifest to the image and likeness as far as that the prophecy of, of um, the spirit of prophecy according to that present revelation of that time. So it was still, the word is, was still manifesting, but still it's like, um, well, that's kind of like a, a point aside. But I did want to mention just briefly because of judgment. All right. If I'm um, not mistaken, that Shabbat study would have been on where we have the Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Echad, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, the last Shabbat study. So basically, the consequently, the consequently to what? To the name, to the authority, <laughs> to being, yes, to being, um, to and, and but then there's a there's a there's an image and a likeness that you have to be a likened to. You have to be one with. You have to walk with in in, in companionship. 
and you know be sustained in that in that companionship which is the word so it must be loved with all the soul heart strength and all that and that leads us to consequently you know if you find a likeness then, then you have a male ruler you have a female ruler you have um you have got you have you know the complete trinity but what i was trying mm -hmm. to go to with um what i was trying to go to with um judgment is that sheba was interested or makeda she was interested in in the name in the authority in the shem mm -hmm. so she, was after, she was after the ahadu the oneness so judgment is not necessarily condemnation from her behalf it's her action that kind of and our inactivity that that kind of like manifests mm -hmm. our own judgment mm -hmm. she was willing to travel long distances people probably died in that travel because it, it, it wasn't like it wasn't like um taking a plane and stuff like that so the investment that she put she towards the spirit of truth after just being you know uh, driven left and right by winds of doctrine she decided that even though she didn't believe half of the story that she was told when she went to go figure it out for herself and she seen it with her own eyes she realized that not even the half of the glory of solomon had been told her mm -hmm. but she was at that's judgment and the combination is in those that have the power to log in to, to their their iphones and stuff like that and just check it out but the interest is the inactivity it's not it's, it, there's no interest there's no wisdom in a person that cannot take advantage of the technology which is the revelation of itself that the that the artistry of his word the tech how he is the tech or the technician over his logos the tech logo or technology right so it's an expression of the self so that it can recognize itself to be to maintain the world being and so ones have the power to kind of just check it out research how he saw you first do a little bit of study this is this is how how the word has been revealed in these days and so because we lack the interest or even i mean we could do that from the comfort of our of our couches right so the the this judgment of going out and seeking the truth now the judgment is very 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 it's very delicate jesus christos manifested love yeah. and he fulfills torah that means that any judgment based on Torah that leads to condemnation which is not of love is not Torah it's not kosher it's not it's not a right interpretation of of the words that agree with the image and likeness of of himself mm. so so we have to cancel a judgmental pre, you know like a prejudice mindset and and which takes us to ham what's wrong with ham Mm. What's wrong with Ham is that the power of word, the varim, Noah, he is the sadiq of sadiqs. You know, he's, he's the, you know, he's he's the righteous man that propelled some kind of salvation into a new world order, and he no. is slipping. So when he said, "Curse be Canaan," you know, "Blessed be Jah," that he actually put prophetical words in his mouth, and that Canaan did his own sin to deserve that prophetical like um cursing but ham has always taken the rap for this because the power of work mm. because he was associated with with kanaan kanaan see torah tells you that you cannot a, a father will not pay for the sin of the son and the son will not pay for the sin of the father ham mm. is innocent kanaan went forward and he did his own thing which eventually kind of like it, it just it made this equilibrium with what Noah had said so I, I could see like relief in Noah and be like oh okay like I didn't really mess up kind of was was kind of prophetically already headed towards that direction but what's the difference between Ham and and um, Adam how come we don't say oh Adam father father of, Ka of Cain it's mm. the power of words mm. it's that a very righteous man he he was slipping he got caught up ham testifies to the to the inaccuracies or misinterpretations that have gone within the tabernacle as it does now but it's mixed with shem but but still it's still like a prophetic a, a prophetic view into how we don't want to see the shame within the self 
and that's the judgment. Mm -hmm. That if we see the the shame in the self, then we would want to pour or rightly tray or or visualize upon others good thoughts. Because if because my you know my expression of, of truth is how I have lived it is stained by error. So I want to see perfection in others. That by maybe doing that, then then grace and mercy shall be applied on me, and that ones will see lightly through through my you know shortcomings. And what I'm saying is that Ham all he did was go out and say and testify to the nakedness of his father. His father was flipping, and Ham is the youngest. Consider this. He's the youngest, so that means that he's got two brothers that are above him in age that should be taking responsibility for the youngest. So he comes out of Ethiopia and just kind of reveals, whether knowingly or unknowingly, but he reveals what's going on inside. I don't know if mm. I, I don't know if, I, if if the like right now Ethiopia. If you want to associate it with Ham, and there's nothing wrong with that. Because Ham will, will in a righteous judgment, you realize that Ham really is, is, is like he's been... Um, so we're going into this uh, debate with these uh, so-called Hebrews and though the sons of Ham, sons of Ham, what's wrong with Ham? <laughs> you know? Yeah, Adam, bacon. Adam had a child named Cain. Or Cain, um, Cain. What, why is he not stained with a bad reputation for having Cain when Ham, all he did was father Canaan? But the mistakes of the children are the mistakes of the children, and the father shall not pay for them. But in the case of Ham, that's judgment. That's the queen of the south. Uh, even though she, she is connected um, to both Ham and Shem, it's the fact that are you willing to go forward and seek righteous judgment according to his word revealed in his image and likeness? Instead of being going forward with these presupposed, already like um, developed concepts of what is inevitably a misinterpretation because Torah does not condemn, really. Because if Jesus Christus lives and fulfills every word, every piece of a word of Torah, then Torah is love and that's what we must see in it. So, so if we see the likeness and image, our judgment will be, will be just graceful and merciful. And then we don't have to be condemned by the, by the prior or previous errors of mm -hmm. our Jacob walk. Because then we would have been well-rounded and perfected, refined to a spiritual being that can no longer be attributed to the mistakes that the natural man came about. And so, you don't, instead of bringing forth like um, punishment and um, rigorous judgment, you know, you're, you're in the heights, you're in the heaven, and because of your ability to judge righteous judgment, then, then you know, it's kind of like one is above the whole like um, karmatic effects of, uh, or the uh, karmatic laws of like law and effect and stuff like that. In a sense, you're not judged as rigorously as, as our meticulously as we would be under a law that, that condemns us to death, but rather we, we're, perfect, we're covered, we're covered. And so our own righteous judgment kind of like is, is reflected upon ourselves. And so love thy neighbor as thyself, kind of like that. And so it, the reason I brought that whole thing up is because Ham has a really bad reputation. And Ham did not make the mistakes that, that his son did. And he should not be accredited to them, just like Adam is not accredited with fathering Cain, in the sense that Cain did what he did. But even in Cain, Cain did something that was unknown at those times. He murdered. Cain isn't necessarily as guilty as we would make him out to be. Does he still have to pay the consequences of his actions? Well, yes. But it's our judgment. It's the way that we judge. We we judge unfairly. Mm -hmm. And so the Queen of the South, and, and, and she judged according to, she was after the spirit of truth. That's what she was after. And that's a, that's a righteous judgment, you know, just seeking his word. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now those that can't see today are condemned. And that she traveled, you know, <laughs> space time and, and did what she did, mm -hmm. put down some money, a lot of it, you know, brought some gifts. And ensured herself to ensured herself to be of a good lineage. Like I, I think I think I heard um, one of the sisters um, reading Psalm 16. I'm not sure, but you know I think it, it, it kind of mentioned of of a lineage, you know, being of a righteous lineage. So of a just mm -hmm. from a just people, you know. So I just kind of um, felt that that's necessary because we really got to re-examine um, this Ham situation because there's nothing wrong with Ham. And then on top of that. It's Ham. If he's a servant, that's not bad. It's bad when it's unconscious and it's not being directed towards a positive um, outcome. 
but all things are positive because the creator works it that way but that's that's a whole different story but uh, and a different level of perspective in which one's got to see things and see the blessing and the good in all things because if if we see bad then we're still eating from a tree of knowledge and good and evil and so even though a situation may appear to be a little bit you know like uh just challenging even just to comprehend what's going on know that you don't got mm-hmm. to comprehend you got to have faith that jaws in control that's what it is and he would not that mm-hmm. is that is people be be forsaken and that is word be made you know be be made of none effect so we have that mm-hmm. comfort you know but you know i'm just kind of going off at this point so just kind of <laughs> <want, laughs> just kind of want to share the whole judgment thing the way we see things we really got to Got to not not go at it with um with a prejudiced mindset and really look for 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 the fullness of it. Look for grace. Look for love. Be able to to find love through the Torah, which is very, fairly easy once you receive Christ. Because then, if He's love, then every time Torah speaks about death, then you have to think life. How do I? How how does this scripture bring forth life? And then the law would have been fulfilled, and that the law would not have been um. Uh, kept so much but it would have been guarded so then mm. we would be not judge judges of the law we would be in the law you know but a superior law so you know just kind of putting that out there <laughs> yes, thanks Regin and yeah for a lot of I mean, yeah I have some questions cause this one, this one, this, there, yes, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of like little little details they kind of have to go studied in but I just kind of brought forth like just like a uh, a, a brief summary of like some of the details that okay when ones take careful um, uh, care to to set time aside you know um, bring out the notebooks and the study books and all that then then ones could have like um just like an outline of some of the things to kind of look out for you know yes okay. like for example I, okay I just got to say this Noah Noah was slipping since before the ark he wasn't fully fully faithful but he was faithful enough to the point where he said. He built an ark. So when he was told, like, hey, go into the ark because seven days from now, I'm going to cause it to rain, something that had never happened, in my opinion, you know, just kind of like um, mm. just uh, mm-hmm. going into how it could have been, how the atmosphere could have been way different before Hamshen and Japheth mm. when, when the split was made. And then, you know, this whole pigmentation, um, you know, transformation could have, you know, that there's a possibility in that that had to do with it because rain brings in a whole different like um cycle and so it brings in like mm. these constant seasons and so that 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 creates like for fixed um uh you know like a uh, different fixed seasons with very well defined um uh temperatures you know attached to them and which can create differences depending on your your position on the earth it could create differences in in the pigmentation in one's skin hair and all that kind of stuff mm. so just putting mm. that out there but what i was trying to say is that we really got to Noah. He yeah, didn't, not he to wasn't. condemn Noah, not to condemn Noah, but, but he didn't he, go into he the. He did not go into the. Yeah. He went into the in the ark, ark when when they saw the floods of the water come down. So, but Jah is not going to you know to blaspheme his own name and, and discrediting his own righteous people. But it's this is not to condemn Noah. It's only to see that there's more that that is that when we really pay pay cl- close attention, we see that there was. That Ham is basically inheriting the, the the tragedy of Noah's time. He was slipping already, and so it wasn't until they saw the 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 um the waters of the flood that they ran into the ark. But the but the good thing and what saved Noah is that he had faith enough to build an ark to run into. Yes, amen. So that makes that makes all the difference, you know, because if he would not have listened to the first step, just build yourself an ark. And then John said, "All right, seven days from now, go inside." Because seven days from now, he didn't go inside. But when he saw the waters, he had somewhere. He had sanctuary. He had a place of refuge, just like Cain. Like Cain was given a sort of like a, a a place of refuge because John exercises the ability to forgive and to show grace and mercy, which are heavenly powers that are far superior than all the weaknesses that we that we are taught in the world: the fear, violence, you know, hostility and uh, discrimination and all these kind of things that are actually like weaker in 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 the ultimate judgment of of creation when one judges with clemency with with um with compassion with with um as much love but you know tough love is necessary um to bring forth repentance proven by the acts of one changing their mind and being tough on on the situations that need to be tough on so that kind of true and pure love you know to his image and likeness 
um, brings forth a light heart, you know. Uh, it brings forth a peaceful life upon earth and sustain cool. that, you know, the just cause and, and, and faith, you know, David will still be Goliath. And so we have that comfort on top of it. You know, because we become one with with him that is one. Because we are one. We are in likeness. And so we don't watch events happen. We form them. Man. Because, because we have that strength in, in the heights of the mentality and that this is... See, the, the problems that we're confronted with in the flesh, we attack the flesh and we make the problem um, worse because it's a spiritual disconnect. Yes, it's a uh, spiritual disconnect that one has to tap into the heights at that very moment and see what is it that I have to learn from this moment. This is what I live for. This is what I was born for. To be crucified at this minute, but there's something that I got to overcome. There's something I got to learn. See, this person right here that's giving me an attitude, he might have had a very bad day. His daughter <laughs> could have died for all I know. So why am I going to push this agenda like ho of a hostility upon this innocent, yes. seemingly innocent person? I could judge, say like, hey, why are you screaming at me? Well, my daughter just died. That's, is that good enough? You know? Then you're going to feel kind of guilty for even, you know, oh, I had no idea. Well, you ne that's the thing. We don't have any idea, so we can't jump to conclusions. Yes, so when I you start living a life like this, you can start forming events before they happen because you're, you're basically sustained in the integrity that, that you're ruling in Christ. Yes, and, and without I, Christ, it, nothing can be done. So, so it's like you either in Christ and it comes to pass, or, or you know you missed the mark. <laughs> that's so. right. If if thanks, um, Lyndon Alfonso, uh, Alonso, this yes, is the right. right. so, yeah. so that's a that's a that's a lot of um, good good word sound power, you know, coming yes. from the eye, um, and just the the understanding of um, the female 